Yo, what's good? This is your boy Lawrence, and I'm here with Chris and Luke, co host of SUP FM. Yeah, buddy. Every week we talk about streetwear, different things that are driving the culture, different things that are driving the hype. We're going to go over all the new sneaker releases, what's behind the design. Yep. We unpack stories from those sneakers. We'll talk to some of the best designers, and you'll probably get a rant from me about the old days of the sneaker culture. <laughs> yep. Listen, if there's stuff to talk about, we're going to talk about it. We are SUP FM. Uh. 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 <laughs> what up? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sup FM, everybody. I, I that beat makes me want to do like the the pre uh verse uh like throat clear like the uh 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 uh. That was fun. Shout out to our producer Matt Menia for that one. New intro, fucking sweet. What's going on, guys? How are you? Chilling, bro. Chilling. Chilling. Another exciting week at the fucking farm, guys. Yep. Another week. Hell yeah. I got my Hawaii's this week. I'm chilling. I still don't know what to do with them, how to rip them up, but you wore them last night. I did. I did. We did a podcast together, me and me and Chris. We did Zach Amico's Spook Show. That's uh, right. Yes. I, yeah. 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 Okay. So, okay. Uh, so I wore the Hawaii's to that one. Still, I g- had got them the night before, so I didn't do anything with them yet. But I don't know how to do it, but I'm doing it, man. Okay. When you when you decide how to do it, Luke, uh, where can people find you so they can find out how, what you did with them? Uh, at Trevisus on Instagram and Twitter, but you'll probably see it on Instagram. Uh, nice. What about you, Lawrence? Where can they find you? Uh, LZD325, all social media platforms. Ah. Do, do, do. And Chris? You also have a podcast, though. Yeah, I do. It's called I Hate This Job. I talk about jobs that people hate. You know, I'm getting <laughs> a lot of getting a lot of hate from my job, you know, because they hate me doing the podcast. So what you got to do what you got to do, baby. <laughs> Wait, so your coworkers know that you do this podcast? My fucking, yeah, my manager, like all of them, they be uh, they talking. They, they, be, they don't like it because they, they waiting for me to talk shit about them. But, you know, I will, but I don't really use names sometimes because I throw off the, the feds, the federales. Absolutely. Word, 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 word. <laughs> uh, you can follow me at Not That Cheney, uh, C H E N E Y. You know, the podcast is Sub Podcast NYC. Uh, the Discord is the main one. Come hang out in the Discord. That's where the lit shit is if you want to chill with us and all the other listeners. Yeah, man. Chris, you got a story for us right off the top, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Just I got to I got to pre. Uh, so my girlfriend, Sydney, who I don't know if uh, we've directly talked about on the podcast or not, but whatever. My girlfriend, Sid, um, was like looking for activities to do now that like the city's kind of opening back up and shit. So one of the things that she thought might have been cool is like to learn how to skateboard. Mm-hmm. Now in the back corner, you could see I have a skateboard hanging there, but that is not the skateboard that was originally there uh, previously. Um, so I, that's an A-Life deck. I had an ironic Supreme deck hanging there, but no one knew it was a Supreme deck because I like put all that shit on it. Okay. It was the 15 year uh, foil anniversary from like, uh, so I guess that was 2011 mm-hmm. silver one. Hadn't looked at what the resale was on it. Hadn't looked at anything about it. I just knew that like, I'd rather have my a life board as like the hanging piece than like that fucking stupid Supreme one. Cause I don't really give a shit. I got it for free, whatever. So I took it to tenant shout out to tenant. All the guys over there, they hooked me up, gave me a good deal on um, trucks and grip tape and all that other shit. Right. So then I surprised said, I'm like, I'm like, I, uh, right from tenant, I'm calling her. I'm like, yo, come outside. She comes downstairs. It's a, she's like, oh my God, so exciting, whatever. Um, and uh, we went right to the skate park, right? Yo, the looks that we were getting for skating on this board. And then I'm like, I should probably know what this is actually worth before I uh, keep skating this. So at least I'm aware. Dude, the resale on this deck is a thousand dollars. I just gave my girlfriend a thousand dollars skateboard, yeah, and for her to not kickflip, <laughs> you gave her a toy. <laughs> Yo, I like. I thought it was cute because the Supreme on the bottom is pink. She loves pink, whatever. Like you know that whole thing. And the guys at the skateboard are looking at me like, brand new. Like you know, she's like, "Yo, do a trick for me or whatever, right?" And I'm not. I'm not what I used to be. I'm not. That's you know. I'm. I'm old now. I'm washed. But I was trying to just do some board slides or whatever on some easy curb shit, marking the shit out of it. 
because it's it's just a silver deck. Like so any chip or dang is very visible. And the guys just see me <laughs> just grind on this brand new Supreme like 10 year old deck. And they're like freaking out. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I didn't know. About, I didn't know about that, man. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. You, just, you gave your girlfriend the gift of dirty looks everywhere she goes. But also, I, she, and she doesn't even care or know. No, so she, on top, she's unaware. <laughs> on top of like the trucks and shit I just bought, this is like a twelve hundred dollar skateboard. And she's just holding it around, like throwing it. She's like, you know, kicking it across the street, like just throwing it at people like on their bikes. <laughs> Chris, n- now would be the time to get that back on some hey uh you know <laughs> I, I no, you know it's too late it's too late she has it and she's happy so i can't i can't have it back <laughs> well chris <laughs> you might still be able to get like 200 300 bucks for it <laughs> probably i probably could that's what i was thinking i was like oh, i probably could get like 300 with this one scuff mm-hmm. but yeah just watching my girlfriend unable to turn <laughs> like then looking at the resale price on my phone i'm like all right <laughs> well, that's my story what about you guys what's going on with you yeah what's up bell what are you what have you been up to not much just uh just you know buying shit you know realizing i'm like why are you spending all this money <laughs> yep yeah, i think it's time for a sneakers wellness check it sounds like a little sneakers <laughs> wellness check everybody uh chris you download the sneakers app yet no, I'm done, bro. I told you I'm off that. Okay. Uh, Lawrence? I mean, I'm weak. I'm a weak-willed. <laughs> you re-downloaded it? I'm a weak-willed individual, yo. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. Uh, re-downloading Tinder, man. Uh, online dating. <laughs> it's I mean, just I mean, swiping. I- I read I re-downloaded it because I re- I wanted another shot at the Travis Scott Sixers to Ooh. fucking lose. Oh my god. And and like and like sneakers as usual, it didn't let me down. It uh it definitely gave me the loss I needed or that I was <laughs> expecting. But I was like, fuck it, L. Just you know, whatever, do it, you know. Oh. I just, I put in for every different form of Travis Scott six I could, you know. I put in for the toddlers, I put in for the, <laughs> for the grade school sizes, I put in I was like, it's either my toe's gonna be wearing a Travis Scott six. <laughs> Maybe Look at my, what we've become. Just yeah, right. Shooting for toddler sneakers. Fiends. <laughs> like you, you want to have a kid just like when you hit it, just so that there's <laughs> something tangible. <laughs> like you, you get a grade school six and you're like looking at your girl going like, yeah. All right. What are we about to do about this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like I got the grade schools, I got the toddlers. So I think it's time for me to have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine having a kid just to put sneakers on them. <laughs> Oh, that is Straight funny. You bugging sneakers. people. People do that all the time, bro. People have people buy sneakers and it, with the anticipation of having it for the kid. I oh, that's, sure. that's crazy. That no, I'm on I another time. That. I'm in a different time zone for that. I I can't even get the. I, never mind for my child hypothetically that I would have. Yeah, I can't even get it myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you got to stockpile them now, right? So your kid has heat. In, in 20, you know, whatever, 15, 10 years, whatever you're going to uh, kid. That's that's the real investment. You want to talk about like fuck Bitcoin, <laughs> fuck uh, any cryptocurrency and like any NFT. It's the investing in your child's drip. Toddler drip. <laughs> <laughs> Toddler drip. <laughs> it's just <laughs> God damn. That is very funny. Oh, my God. So very you funny. downloaded the app again. It uh, ruined your ruined your day. Ruin my you day. know what? No, no, no. You know what? I'm not going to say it ruined my day. I knew what I was getting myself into. Uh-huh. And I said, fuck it. I said, I will attempt to, uh, you know, obviously they're they're doing a lot of draws now because the heat is on Nike. And I think Nike's like, oh, this is our way to say we're combating bots. Mm-hmm. But uh, 10 minute draw is not the move. Um, and yeah, like I said, man, it was it was Travis Scott's birthday. Mm-hmm. So shout out to the king. Yeah, I mean the fucking master marketer, man. He's fucking yeah, one. We we discussed it at length on this podcast, but uh, yeah, I was I really like the sixes that dropped. I don't think yeah. they're as good as the first um model, but they're still very solid. And um, yeah, I was you know I just like I said, I wasn't I wasn't thrilled. I took the loss, but I, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. Um, I like the glow in the dark pieces. Those are cool to me. But yeah, I mean like other than that, it's not the the first one is always the one, man. Hmm. It really is. It really is. It's a it's a nice shoe. Not as you guys said, um, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't 
I don't think I put in as much effort as I, as I should have. <laughs> like I, I put in for like maybe three raffles like that. I just saw on Instagram passing by, like I didn't mm-hmm. put that much effort as much. Well, you know what? It's, it's kind of funny. You only put the amount of effort that the, the brand puts into the shoe. Right. So like everyone wanted the first one. Cause mm-hmm. like, right. That, that's a super bowl shoe. You right. know what I mean? This is like, yeah. like, well, all right, here we go. This Have is the remix. Guys. Yeah. Ah, uh, speaking of remixes, we got another Travis Scott remix coming out. Oh yeah, we got the lows, the the, the, the featuring fragment. Yeah, exactly. Another uh, one. Uh, actually, before we go into that one right away, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the like. How did you feel about the draw? What is your like stance on sneakers draws? I, I like I said before. I said I I feel like Nike. I think they were they were under a lot of pressure, mm-hmm. a lot of heat, and they were like, "Well, how can we quote unquote combat bots?" And I still think it was a shitty, yeah. It's still, a sh- there's no win there because you know, for you give, you know, we see sometimes we see this the quote unquote the I don't know it's the alleged um, stock allocation for sizes, and and when you're saying in your size there's less than three thousand pairs, but there's millions of entries basically right it's very slim and and i feel like uh you know there needs to be some type of way because it just feels like so many people are walking away with nothing and continuously walking away and i see my friends that i i grew up with and went to elementary and high school and i'm seeing their their facebook and instagram statuses and it's like oh fuck sneakers i want to like they're really on some i'm about to down uh, delete the app Mm -hmm. so I think there needs to be something, yeah, a, a change. I I would have no idea what it would be though. Like there's like, unless there's some shit that we never thought about. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else to really do. I mean, how much like, literally, we've talked about this for like three years. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's true. We just had a dunk restock this week too <clears throat> on sneakers. We had a dunk restock, and we also had a uh, the Hawaii's come out, um, which was kind of interesting, uh, but still. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it's very difficult. Let's now, I, I didn't. Now, I didn't try for the dunks or anything, but I saw like there was like fifteen dunks or some shit like that, and people yeah. were like, "Oh, I went over 15. and it's like over yeah. fifteen. Yeah, you should be able to get something, you know. You know, and I know, I know. Obviously, the stock is a lot limited because it's not the actual release, and it is like a a re-release or you know unreleased pairs that. Yeah, it might be like whatever. leftover COVID shit. You know what I mean? Like, true, true. so I mean that I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say everyone's gonna walk away with something, but the feeling is, I mean, goddamn, like if 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 it's this limited, I mean, Nike, you're just like really just once again, you're poking a bear. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. True. So. All right. Well, why? Well, what do you think, Luke? I mean, I, I, I think it's a, it's a step in the right direction. I'm seeing an attempt at something. But besides that, I agree. Like, it's, you know, it's diffi- It's still difficult to get anything. Um, I don't even know if it's really an attempt at something, bro, because they were already doing it. This is just the one that this is like the, the uh, lesser evil of any solution that they could think of. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. But it's still like not the one. Un- bro. Until the bot protection is like, you know, so sophisticated. The problem is that this is this is how like AI monsters are created, you know, like this is how you get Sky like, Skyfall is that you create a bot smart enough to stop other bots. And then, you know, we get Terminators yeah, and bro. it's all going to start in the sneaker world. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, it's all going to start in the sneaker world. The, the, the sneaker bot to kill all sneaker bots. Yeah, exactly. And then it finds <laughs> out that resellers are sneaker bots, <laughs> you know. And then it must take out all resellers in order exactly. to have the sneak. <laughs> exactly, bro. I think we f- we finally created the sci-fi sneaker show we all deserve. <laughs> all right, Terma yeah. sneakers, Webin. Terma, Terma sneakers. sneakers. That's bad. All right, we, I'll I'll have think. Okay, yeah. I'm <laughs> just gonna have fun they thinking can about this. Literally, just be called the Nike Terminators. There are Terminators already. You can just yeah, call man. them Nike Terminators. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Watch oh. Netflix is going to start fucking working on this tomorrow. Exactly. I know. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at those uh, those fragment ones now, boys. Shall, shall we? Yeah. The triple label, I the guess. Tri- triple, triple label. label. Nike, Fragment and Travis. Okay. Yeah. I think they're all three different labels at this point. Fragment, Jat, Scott. Uh, what did we think of? Like, we got good pictures now of the of the fragment lows, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of fakes, though. I've been seeing a lot of... um. 
fake pictures. Yeah, what do we uh, what do we think? I'm gonna say this. I think the lows are color blocked better than the highs, mm-hmm. but because the highs are highs, and we and we genuinely enjoy highs more than we do lows, people are gonna go yeah. crazy for the highs. Yeah. Um. I I think they're both. You know, if if it hold the trend holds true, and and I know Nike, and when you're putting fragment, and you know the way Travis's models has been going, they're gonna be super limited. Hunt, thousands of thousands of people are gonna walk away with nothing. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I I can say I, I like I do like both models. I, I will say that as I see more picks of the highs, I, I kind of I'm warm. I warm up to the highs, the lows. I really do. I, I like a lot more. Uh, I'm going to completely agree with everything you just said, El. I think you kind of nailed it on the head there. Um, Good. My only thing about the lows is like I just hate how big the wings are on the back heel versus what the cactus just visually it's like a lot of white and then a lot of not uh i see that's like my really my only gripe I that's see coming it. from a designer standpoint I yeah mean, it is you know i yeah i think that i think the the back heel tab is the least of people's worries i mean i think the main worry is oh how much money am i gonna have to spend on the resale market if i really want these shits? <laughs> true 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 you yeah know? i'm over here like i wouldn't have done that <laughs> hell you just got your neutral grays right yeah, I just I just purchased a pair of neutral grace from uh Goat. I, I felt like I was one shoe I, I needed to have, you know. Yeah, man. How did how do they fit? Do you like them? Did you yeah. start wearing them already? No, I haven't started. I haven't worn them yet. Um, I just got them. I think what yesterday or day yes, before, yeah. a couple of days ago, and and um, and I haven't. You know, I didn't really go anywhere. But uh, those are getting beat to death this summer. I think white. Oh uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah I better buddy. see those fucking dogs by the end of the summer. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. those are, you know, yeah, I, I like those. So, I mean, once again, I'm not a guy who spends on resale, but um, the neutral grades needed to be had. And, I, and I'm and i starting to warm to the fact that I'm like, as a guy who owns fragment ones, I'm like, damn, I'm going to need at least one of these pairs of sneakers to kind of cultivate the, the collection, you know, have the the yang to the yang, the yang, the yen to the, the yang to the yen or the yen to the yang. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but wait, Al, you got you're kind of coming up um, pretty here because you also got the um, the women uh, raised by women threes, right? Yeah, the uh, you see, I think you just fucking trying to set me up to, <laughs> to, to incorrectly pronounce every fucking thing on this. <laughs> no, episode. no, I would never do that to you. But yeah, I got the uh, Ma Manier um, Jordan threes, um, and I actually, I just saw UPS. Uh, I just missed the delivery. Uh, so I have to wait till Monday. They better not lose my shit off. So I'm gonna Ooh. kill them. Um, but no, I was really I, uh, you know, and I think that's that's the what I want to talk about when we talked about the the, the Amam Maniers. I feel like um, the way those were released, it, James Whitner and his and his group, they did wonders. We're starting to see that. I think the people who grew up or they love this culture when they have a chance to release something that they really pay attention to how the culture and how the sneaker community is given the shoes yeah and we've yeah. seen it with chris gibbs and those guys at union mm-hmm, we've mm-hmm. seen it with uh with whitner uh at uh, aman manier we saw we saw what concepts and those guys yep. um there's certain brands that are doing wonders with their release in terms of bot protection, mm-hmm. which makes everyone, you know, which makes a lot of people upset when you start dealing with, you know, people like Supreme and Nike, because they can figure out how to, for, for big drops, how to level the playing field. Absolutely. It's kind of insulting that only now they're sort of taking the steps necessary in the bullshit way that they're doing it with the draw shit. But no, and Lawrence completely hundred percent. Like that is the way to do it the way they did it. Yeah. And they, they, they pushed it back too, because of, uh, was it because of DMX passed? I'm correct no, me if I'm wrong. The George was, Floyd. Uh, oh, George Floyd. Excuse me. I knew it was some, some, it was, we lost somebody, you know, it was mm-hmm. related to something like that. Yeah. I think it was just, like I said, it was a really, uh, well executed release. And I think that's the way when you have a hype drop, it's like, you know, create a uh, another like basically another domain or, you know, add some add multi levels of uh, bot protection questions. You know, then you have to do more verification. 
I mean, it's not everyone's not going to win. Obviously, everyone's not going to get what they want. But I, I think it, more people are able to hit on the release. And even the way they, they did the, the pre-release with the raffles. And it was, you know, women were the, the ones that were the ones who were able to enter a raffle first. Yeah. Yeah. Like there needs to be something that is uh, it's done for these releases because we look ver- on the other end. And and Whitner and 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 he's good friends with uh with Marcus Jordan. Yep. And we saw how that release went with the trophy rooms. And it's like these guys came up. Like the Gibbs, they worked to where they're at. And I'm not saying that Marcus Jordan is didn't have to work to get where he's at, but I mean he's obviously you his can dad, say that. You can you, say that. You can, say, you can probably say that. Fucking dad is <laughs> the greatest basketball player to ever touch the fucking earth. And <laughs> And I, you know, and when you see shit like that, it, it kind of it's it's like okay, Marcus, you couldn't figure out how to make it so that way the releases in a clusterfuck or where, you know, people are question questioning the validity of pairs. Right. People, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you see trophy rooms, and you're like, oh, are these even real? Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh no, I'm not paying three thousand, four thousand dollars for a, a shoe that you have to kind of question: are these real? Yeah, crazy. So. I'm I'm excited for those, um, and I don't know. Did you guys were you guys fans of them or or no? I love those. I love those sneakers. I didn't go for them, but out of out of like the, I think I think I might have said it on a recent episode. I think I'm kind of done with the elephant print, and I love threes with like a different material. Like, you know, you can't replace the cements, but uh, like just the fragments, those. Any of three that doesn't have the elephant print and they use that in a different way, tell a different story. Like I'm kind of with those. So I like those a lot. Yeah. So. They're, I, I think they're very clean. They kind of grew on me. I didn't really see, like, I didn't really see the, the big deal to begin with, but like, you just kind of look at that, like the color blocking and everything. It's just very clean shoe. Yeah. Really well executed. <clears throat> um, I'm not really a three guy. So I, I, I kind of pulled a Cheney on this one. Um, but you know, it, uh, it was a good shoe. I liked it. I just wish their brand was more pronounceable. <laughs> well, I, th- I honestly, and I'll say this, I think with this release and I think the, the way that people are going to view this sneaker, their, their brand will be a lot more pronounceable going forward. It is. It is a fun time because no one knows how to pronounce that name correctly. Only like the real weebs do. <clears throat> so everybody's got the, I love hearing everyone's take on how to say it. I'm a veneer. I'm a nominee. <laughs> I'm I'm on man, man, wait say that again, Luke. I'm a man, I'm no, a I, thought it was, I thought it was I'm on Manier, but I, I maybe I'm wrong too because there's the little tilde thing or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. Ame Leon Dior was the last complicated brand name I really learned. After that, I'm like, I'm just gonna mispronounce everything. Yeah. Well, like, like I said, <laughs> like I said, Chris, I think going forward, I think with the um the way the shoe was done, and I think the way people are going to view this shoe going forward, people are going to learn the name of the of the brand. And I think this is one of those, uh, the like this. I, I'm not going to say that I've I've seen you know when we've seen Union and we've seen certain stores do their own collab. Like some people are like ah, and some people are like ah, but for the most part, these threes were genuinely really well liked. Yeah, and I think like I haven't heard too many people be like these shits are trash, and I think yeah, nobody, not many people. So I think we're gonna really see going. And they had they've done collabs with Nike before. They've done you know they've done Air Force Ones. Mm-hmm. They did uh they just did a waffle. They I mean uh social status I believe if I'm correct, they did a episode of I don't know if we're able to say this uh this this uh, on our podcast, but uh, it was a uh, people go uh, shopping for. Uh, you know, shoes and the vice president, <laughs> Kamala Harris. Uh, he Whit, Whitner was on that episode. Mm. Oh yeah, with, with giving because uh, she was she was getting some uh, specially made uh, Chuck Taylors. I guess it was like a yep yep yep. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and he was the one who handed her the sneaker. So this oh. guy is ingrained in the the culture. And I think just like I said, the story that was told with the shoe, um, it's. You know, it you know it, it it went well, and and I think the release was handled well, and and I props to him, and props to those guys at Union, and props to the concept guys because we need more drops like this. I agree. I totally but, agree. Do you think? Uh, do you think we're gonna see more collaborations from them? 
Lawrence? Oh, I totally, I totally, yeah. I, you know, once again, I think the way that the threes are, are well, the way this came out and people are really like, oh my God, I really like these. I would love to see what they do going forward because I feel like they're going to get another collab. I mean, yeah. Union Union is fucking getting everything, you know, a one, a four. They, you know, they're doing multiple drops. Yeah. I, I mean, what, the way he handled this release, I think the way it's being loved. Yeah, he's going to. I mean, I would love to see him with a, a fucking two or a one. I mean, ones are, you know, I would uh, love to see them uh, collab with Ame to make the hardest pronounced collab <laughs> in it. Ame Leon Mion Dior. Uh, I'm Leon Dior. <laughs> me, I'm on the knee. It's really <laughs> hard to Mian say. Ame Mion Dior, like, <laughs> or even Go just ahead, like Lawrence. with Dior. <laughs> I'm on Dior. Me on Dior. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Aim, aim Leon Dior. Uh, I'm on my knee. It's very difficult. That's say. it's it's very funny. <laughs> That'd be very difficult to do. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> I agree. I agree, Lawrence. I think I think we're gonna see more collaborations from them. Which one which one did you want to see from them? You want to see them do a one? I mean, I'm always I mean, I think you know that's what happens a lot of times. We're like, oh well, we gotta see what they can do on a one because I think a one is so you know, it's so customizable in terms of the the way you can put, you know. Well, you know what the other thing is, it's like we've seen so many ones prove to us that you're a good brand by doing something different with the one true like well, that's the real shit is when you can figure out and you go oh shit i've never seen that before well you also have to remember i mean this isn't his first jordan i mean i mean yeah in terms of uh aman manier they this is their first but remember he's also part of the whitaker group which has like social status mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they did a pair of sixes there was a pair of uh pony hair black and purple uh sixes that was i done. remember those yep so <clears throat> I mean, he's he's obviously I mean, he's you know, he's good friends with M Marcus. Uh, he, he said in interviews that, you know, Michael Jordan actually really uh, liked the threes that they did. Mm -hmm. So I think the way this was received, I, I would not be shocked if, uh, if yeah, if we get another. <laughs> do you think Michael do you think Michael pulled Marcus aside and was like, the fuck are you doing with these Jordans? You put fucking glitter on these. You think, well, I'm not going to wear <laughs> glitter shoes. Look, look at what you're, why can't you be like your friend? Why can't yeah. you be like James over there? It's a perfectly clean sneaker I could wear with anything. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I think that's where we're at. And I think, you know, like I said, the fact that, you know, I, I don't know. And, and maybe I'm wrong, you know, because, you know, at the end of the day, Marcus is, you know, he's Marcus. He's the, the goat son. But there's got to be something that's, you know, when it's like, dude, look how you handled the release and like, how, look how people look at you versus look at how people really fucks with this dude for the, the process and the way his release was handled. Yeah. I think it's, you know, it, it speaks wonders, man. It, it's ugh. night and day, man. Night and day between the two releases. Mm -hmm. Same year, too. I don't know why they don't call like they don't like someone doesn't hit. Dion from constant be like hey how did you do that or like call Chris Gibbs like hey can you help me because like this ain't something that people are like hiding the information about like they we all want them to do this so like share the info you know what I mean like yeah. help each other well yeah. I, th I think Ooh. I'm sorry I don't think I don't think it's anyone that's got to hit them up I think you know you Nike just has to change their way you know Mark like yeah. Jeff Marcus has to say hey this is how I want to release it as opposed to I'm just gonna push all the pairs through the back door basically yeah Mm -hmm. I hear you. Did you you heard the arguments that this might be sneaker of the year already? I've I've heard it. I'm very interested to see how the shoe looks in person. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I I've heard that, and um, I'm not gonna. I don't know if it's sneaker of the year, but it it definitely it definitely should be. I think top three or four when it's well, all, when the, it's all said and done. Yeah. So this release is May third. All right, so what this year, what this, this, year, this episode. Oh, okay. okay. So up until that point, I mean, uh, what are the contenders? So we got this. Yeah, oh, release. What are the big contenders for. Yeah, because I'm trying to think. I can't even think of a shoe off rip. Um, not to kind of put you guys on the spot. Like, I don't even want to count the unions yet because they're not out. I don't know the release date on those. I mean, there hasn't um, been a lot in the 
the couple months that we've been in 2021. I mean, Street Hawkers, uh, Trophy uh, Room. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what else was like <clears throat> hype? The, the Travis Sixes. Um, yeah, but see, even still, like, they, mm-hmm. they, there's nothing contending this one. This is the first real good, fresh one. So not mm-hmm. to take away from, like, Travis shit or whatever, but this is a fresh, like, a brand no one really knows. Like, I'm saying no one can pronounce the fucking name. It's like, yeah, of course this is, like, sneaker of the year right now because this is, no one's contending with him. Mm-hmm. True. <clears throat> I, yeah, I will. I definitely can agree with you on on, and on that where I'm hearing people say it's just, it's definitely up there for sneaker of the year. Um, what we have so far, you know, and I'll even say neutral gray ones, uh, you know, uh, they're up there. Um, I'm trying to think of any SBs that we, we've had Supreme Dunks. True Supreme Dunks. Yeah, but all these are like, you know, not to cut you off or take anything away. But again, these are all like part twos or like redos yeah. or like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like I'm with you on that, Chris. No, I definitely agree with you. It's <clears throat> it's the Supreme Dunks are just a rehash of the, yeah. the highs, but, you know, and lows and different colors and. And the neutral gray ones are it's a you know, we haven't seen the sneaker in 36 years, but I think the, these are very a fresh take on mm-hmm. a classic. Yeah. And it's very distinguishable from the classic. OK, so would you say I, I think the, the fair thing to say at this point is it might not be sneaker of the year. It's a little too early to say it's sneaker of the year, but maybe it sets the bar for the next very, couple of sneakers. And it's out. very high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I can agree with you on. I think uh, it definitely sets the bar high. Um, we still have, I'm trying to think what, I mean, what we've seen so far, we still have cool gray 11s, I believe coming out. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, what about the potatoes? Oh, that might be sneaker of the so year. <laughs> might be. Uh, for those who don't know what we're talking about, it's just, uh, I don't even want to call them a shoe. I don't know if those count. <laughs> I don't know if this is a sneaker. I don't know what to call these. Uh, but they're they're things that you put on your feet that make it still look like feet. <laughs> they're like caveman feet on your feet. Yeah, big f- big feet. <laughs> really gross. Hold on, there's a yeah, it looks terrible. <laughs> but this is the thing. This is like, uh, they're kind of fire. <laughs> what the? F- okay, uh, let me hear you out. Hear you it's out. it's purely the irony of it. They're so okay. bad that they're good type of thing. Mm-hmm. Cause mm. all right, think about what we as sneakerheads strive to do with our footwear. Cause In- it is it is for us. Yeah, it is for us right now. This co- sort of parallels like girls and makeup, right? Yeah, it is for us. We do it for us, but it's a presentation to other people. As sneakerheads, going back to this idea, um, we just want to people look at our feet. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way no one is not looking at your feet when you're wearing these. Someone's doing a double take. Oh, yeah. yeah. Breaking some serious necks in these. It's true. What's going to catch your eye more? Some Chicago off-white ones or (laughs) potatoes? Ooh, I would love to do that thought experiment if we had enough money to. (laughs) Which is a good time to uh, uh, have somebody wear, like somebody wears off-white Chicago ones uh, through the streets of New York. Somebody wears the potatoes who gets more like looks. All right. So who who's who's going to buy the potatoes? We got it. We got someone with Chicago <laughs> off white ones. Oh, oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. We could do. All that's right. That's true. We could do it. How Chris, much are these? Like them. I don't know. That's the question. <laughs> I don't I don't know anything about them. I don't except know. That they're amazing. <laughs> there's no there's no price yet. I don't think I think they're just kind of done right now. Oh, actually, this is kind of funny. We should read some of the comments. Are there any good ones in here? Let's see. Well, the, 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 you know, the, the, the dis- Cole Bennett says, wow. What do you call it? The post says uh, new shoes. That's all it says. <laughs> I actually have been looking for a pair like this. <laughs> no, you haven't. Get That's out of here. Somebody said uh, upsetting. Somebody <laughs> said. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Jim Carrey inspo question mark. Oh, uh, hilarious. Jim Carrey shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause I guess he wore these somewhere. I feel like he wore these in like a movie or something. No, probably on red carpet. That guy's a fucking weirdo. Right, right, right. So you're saying that, you know, the Amma Manir set the bar and then and then the potato slam dunked right on that Vince Mm -hmm. Carter honey dip hanging from the fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Shot a rocket up into space. Um, Definitely some contenders for sneaker of the year already. Very exciting to talk about, you know, Um, 
Chris, uh, A Life has a, a new shoe coming out, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, May 4th, the Timberland finally comes out. I know I've been kind of like teasing it. Um, we had to push it back for a reason I think I'm not supposed to say, so I won't. But uh, yeah, actually, hold on. Yeah, they come out next week. There's a three lug. There's the beef and brock and then an ox uh, color. Nice. Um, and basically, it's just the whole thing about them is the platform. Yeah, that's a strong platform. And they are fire on like you Bro, wouldn't even I might think be, i might be six foot in those <laughs> yeah i'm i can dunk in these <laughs> like l i bet i could play some d on you now bro hey hey yo. Yo. <laughs> hey yo no but no like seriously like these are fucking great and i'm glad that i got to be a part of the campaign hell yeah oh yeah that's right you uh we don't have any we don't have any campaign stuff yet but I, i'm looking forward to it no, but the I mean the real campaign that uh was going on is the Rob hooked up with this kid Blake who's like a he's like a docu photographer around New York City. Mm -hmm. So that's the real campaign. Um I'm just like in like a secondary sort of like follow-up shoot um and the photo is crazy. I don't know where they're gonna, I don't even know if they're going to use it, but we'll see. They just have it for them. <laughs> I'm I'm going to post it on the day it comes out just cuz I'm over it now. I think it's funny. Yeah, it is funny. Um what do you call it? And then what was I going to bring up to? Yeah, I mean, it's cool that, that you guys are doing that with Tim's. Um, I can actually explain what happened, uh, why there, there was the release was delayed. So they were doing a sample run. They let a bunch of people borrow the shoes and then they found out they were getting too much pussy. And they had to, like, <laughs> some changes yes. to the shoe. Yes. And this is the final product. <laughs> they yes. were like too much, too much, uh, too much pussy. Get. We got to chill with this. No, honestly, it was uh, it was releasing along another three eye lug that we didn't want to be associated with. Okay, it, yeah. like no disrespect, we just didn't want to drop around the same time. No, so I mean, you don't want to get the brands confused. That's all. It just makes sense. Yeah, I mean, if anyone wants to do the research, they could do the math based on that. But um, uh -huh. yeah, it was just so we could, had some breathing room in between releases. But uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, Tuesday, May fourth. Those drop. Mm -hmm. Nice, 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 nice. Speaking of two brands not confusing themselves with each other. Have you guys seen the news about Walmart Easy? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've been trying to keep yeah. tabs on that. That's uh, so Walmart suing Yeezy for their new brand logo. Right? I don't know if legal action is fully being taken yet. I don't know if there's like a lawsuit actually in place, but uh, Walmart is mad. I've been reading about Walmart getting tight. They think that um, their brand is getting mistaken for. Uh, yeah. So Yeezy being on the left here. Saudi, sorry, audio only listeners. But yeah, on the left there, that's the Yeezy logo. Mm -hmm. um, which you know what I've never really seen anywhere. They have it on the boxes, I think. Actually, if you give me one second. Yeah, they do have. Yeah, I know they have it on the boxes. Okay, I only have one pair of Yeezys, and I've never worn them. So, um, but yeah, so Walmart's saying that they're getting confused with uh, the Yeezy brand. Um, and now I know you can back me up on this, but this is kind of what Kanye wants. Of course, this is what Kanye wants, man. He's yeah, fucking, and this is publicity. T. All right. And that's what Kanye West wants and he gets. All right, man. Yeah. Not on the 350 bucks. It's not. <laughs> Interesting. No. Okay. I thought you were talking about on the Walmart buy on Walmart. I know that's Walmart's uh No, he oh no, he was talking about the what do you call it? The Yeezy logo. That like kind of So yeah, it's interesting because I've never really seen it. <clears throat> um I I only know the Yeezy logo to be the Yeezy font. Yeah. which I actually think he took from Jay-Z's Magna Carta cover. I think that's the same font. Mm -hmm. But I know he, it just says Yeezy or YZY, um, but I've never seen that. But, yeah, I mean, this is – dude, he's been shouting, I want to be Walmart for, like, 10 yeah. years. Yeah, he really has. He really has been. So this whole – this is, like, exactly what he wants, man. Like you said, dude, the publicity getting can feel like – like, he wants to be associated with these names, like, like Walmart, like, uh, I mean, Apple – like mm -hmm. fucking any of these big major brands, he My wants CEO to be the guy. My friend from Dropbox. Of course, that's Kanye yeah. West, yo. <laughs> yeah, so he wants to be up there and doing this shit. I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of did it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, to your point about the Magna Carta cover, who who designed the Magna Carta cover? Was it was it our friend Virgil? Oh, I think he did do that, didn't he? It's all connected. It's all connected, man. <laughs> no, I uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm pulling this out of my ass. I'm pretty sure it is the same font. Dude, and that I'm, is, I'm pretty sure it was it was Virgil. And that's crazy if that was Virgil. I mean, this is all. 
There's a conspiracy there's, here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, telling you there's a, there's a conspiracy. <laughs> Are you pulling up the cover? I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Hold on. It's listen, you might be making some sense right now, buddy. Hold on. See, look, look at all this design nerd shit. It comes actually comes back around. Once in a while, once every six years, I get something okay. cool. Look yeah, at that, that kind of Z, bro. Look at that Z. And mm -hmm. look at the Y. I feel like oh wait, are you is the Yeezy ones a little more rounded though? Yes, a little bit more rounded. All right, so it might be the same font, and they rounded the edges or whatever. But either way, that's – yeah, and and then, yeah, I think Virgil did do that. I might be off, but, yeah, you might be right on that. Yeah, he did do yeah. that one. Yeah, I'm damn, saying, bro. It's interesting, man. It's all connected. But, yeah, so I'm keeping my tabs on that. I mean, I, I think he's doing it on purpose. I think that whole thing was kind of like a layup for um, this sort of publicity, like you said, L. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'll be uh, the correspondent on this as it develops. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> So what happens? How does this affect streetwear, though? Does it? Uh, it does in, in like a dumb, minute way that's not going to really affect the core of it. It's uh, it's uh, it's just about being being recognized in the conversations that they're in. So Kanye being associated with Walmart, Kanye being heavily influenced with uh, sneakers, mm -hmm. associated with sneakers. Mm -hmm. So now it's like Yeezys are going to be associated with Walmart, but only very surface level. You know what I mean? Like this isn't going to like enter the core, but it does start to blur the line of like where things lie and what is gotcha. what. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe I mean, one day. he wants Yeezys in Walmart. I can he tell you that. He wants the slides in there for sure. Yeah. Or the foam runners. Any of that shit, bro. He would love to be in Walmart. Mm hmm. He sure would. He sure would. Very interesting. Um, we've got Jordan one KOs coming out. Oh, oh, boo! Yeah, those those bum ass Chicago's. The bum Chicago's. This is, out. uh, this is yeah. This is the sick. This is the sick child of Jordan ones. This is the uh, runt of the litter. It really is, man. It is. Uh, look, I like the red. But that's Chicago red. That's why. Well, yeah, um, yeah. Don't they zoomed in on the red that we all want in a sneaker. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, you I still mean, have your original pair. I still have my. Well, yeah, I still have my 2014 pair, man. It's like they just like I said, man, they know what they are doing. These look the ones that come out now look a little higher. The, the look a little taller than the ones I have. But come on, man. They're not giving people Chicago's. They know what they are doing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that. And, why, and watch they force these people. People are going to fucking buy these up because it's a Chicago colorway. Hey, you guys yeah, have man. seen. I sent you guys the picture of the, re the resale right now. It's like 800, 800, 868 or something like that. Four, what the nine. fuck? Wait, for Chicago, for KOs? For the new ones, yeah. Are you serious? I think so. Hold on. So yeah. what about Lawrence's pair? What can you get for that? Oh, you wore them, though. I wore my shits. I, I yeah. would keep my shit. Actually, I, I like my KOs, to be honest with you. I know. These are the... The retros? When it's go, well, let's see. Go down. Go to details. Uh, details. Let's see. This guy, that's got to be the, 20, oh, this is the that's 2014 ones. Let me see. God, I mean, look, I'm not like I'm not like a full hater on these, but like I'd I'd spend a hundred more dollars on a, another like a, on the regular pair, you know? You hundred you think a hundred more dollars will get you? Oh, the I meant pair? just the silhouette in general. Like I'm not even fucking with that oh. silhouette at all. I'd much rather spend like more money uh, to get like a one. Or even like a dunk high, like anything else, <laughs> like a zoom, anything else. So you don't like the KO? I, I don't mind the KOs. I actually, I don't mind the canvas joints. I remember back in the days, I was doing a, a show and I wore the, the KOs, and uh, and and the comic was like, "Oh, you, you don't have the you, you don't have the Jordan ones you wearing." Oh, he said, "You don't have the Chicago's." Like he said, "You wearing the knockoff joints?" And I was like, "Bro, like let's not even like don't play yourself right now because I'll fucking hurt your feelings." But <laughs> the, the thing about it is, I think com like I think people in general like they don't fuck with the KOs, but it's like, dude, the KOs are fucking fire. It's just certain colors of the KOs that are fire. But it it yeah, all right, okay, I can I can get with you because like I'm not even necessarily mad at it. Like I said, I just rather have the other one. So I'm I'm with you. If you like it, you like it. I'm not gonna take that away from you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Six. They're at six oh nine right now. The resale for a size nine on Jordan One Chicago KOs. I gotta find out what the difference is between those KOs and the ones I have because there's got to be some difference. They're, the zoomers can see them. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> Geez, six hundred dollars for a pair of KOs, man! Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. 
I mean, we'll see what they what, what it looks like when they release in like two weeks. I I think that's going to go down quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, I think so, too. I mean, we, we're probably going to uh, settle somewhere in the threes, but 300s. But I mean, still 300s for a pair of KLs is like it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's it's just steep. it's just wild. To have, like the value of a colorway. That's really what it is, bro. Black, red and white is worth more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I th- I think the fact that they've that they've um the way they released the Chicago colorway is, is what also is dry. Like the the scarcity of it is what's driving. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. It, it all the same thing, but it's it's really a color palette. You know, I think mean, we've kind of said this without saying it. Um, you know, over how many episodes? But like that color palette is the shit that's worth money. Yeah, and plus, I think the way I mean, once again, I mean. We've got black and red. We we've gotten you know four or five releases, and since the you know since two thousand, we've got two thousand one. We got the bands, and you know twenty eleven. We've got the twenty thirteens. We got twenty sixteen. We've gotten all these releases. Like we haven't got. We've got one true Chicago with Nike Air since you know two thousand, and 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 the way that release was handled was pretty shitty. <laughs> And you know what? The next one's going to be shitty. The one after that's going to be shitty because there's too many people that want these stupid shoes. I could solve all the uh, all our problems. I'm not going to go into it again, but you guys know. You guys know my platform. I yeah, know your platform. <laughs> Make me chairman of the board of Nike. <laughs> Make it. it happen, listeners. I know you. some of you work at Nike. <laughs> if you want to live in a, a, a sneaker utopia, you just choose your boy. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to see because you see that they're doing the um, South Beaches again, the eights. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see how that goes, too, because that's like the Chicago for LeBron. So I want to see how that plays. Unfortunately, because we're in a different era of um, of basketball. I, see, here's here's what I'm confused about, because I'm like the Grinches were doing numbers. But then yeah. I think that also contributed because Kobe, unfortunately, he's no of longer course. with yep. us. Right. Rest in peace. I, the the South Beaches are um, the when it, you know obviously we people were rocking basketball sneakers a lot more heavily in 2010 or 2012 just to go to the club like people were wear basketball yeah. sneakers in the club right basketball sneakers aren't really you're not doing going to the club but you still have the nostalgia because people are like fuck that was a, an amazing sneaker yeah I I kind of think like. That a lot of people are going to come out of the woodwork looking for that because uh, I mean, like, so generationally that hits not only old heads, mm-hmm. but also hits us sort of with that. Nost- you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. this is this is like one of the first like real nostalgic colorways for, I guess, like our generation ish kind mm-hmm. of, you mm-hmm. know, so I feel like this is going to be a big one. That's like this is a big drop. Sounds like galaxy foams are right around the corner, boys. <laughs> Can we get a Nike retro Yeezy, man? Can we get a Yeezy one <laughs> retro Yeezy two, man? Since we want a retro shit from a decade ago, man. Come oh. on. I need, I need, I need some new pairs. I you know what? Pairs. All right. So can I confess something to you guys? I have been looking at Yeezy ones on resale, and I'm not buying them, but mm-hmm. I have been pulling them up a lot. I really, I don't know what happened, but I really want a pair. I think, I think you figured out that you do have a, a, a closet full of sneakers that you might be able to sell off in <laughs> All exchange of for one <laughs> pair of Yeezys. I'm not saying it's not viable. You could do it. I really want Yeezy ones. Like, whenever I'm bored and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. we didn't talk about the 1.8 yet. Yeah, that they sold for, was it 1.8? Yeah, it was 1.8 million. You know what it was, bro? I'm looking at these and I'm going like, damn, those are a nice shoe. Mm-hmm. That's crazy that we didn't even think to think talk about these. Like, yo, the 1.8 million for a pair of shoes is bananas. Man, I remember, man. I remember that that fucking those drops, man. Oh my god. Nike used to have dudes up at 3 a.m. Uh, yes. trying to get a pair of uh <laughs> Yeezy ones, man. The thing to do. It, dude, and you know what? Like, we haven't really talked about Sotheby's um, and mm-hmm. what they're doing with sneakers, but like, mm-hmm. Sotheby's is some real shit. I don't know if you guys know like, w- like art and their uh, the auction shit that they do, mm-hmm. but like, mm-hmm. that's Fill some real in, shit. Fill me in. So, I mean, like, that is like, like real, like art, like fine, uh, high end art, like mm-hmm. auctioning oh, shit. Like, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an auction site for fancy shit. 
yeah i mean like they deal with like rembrandt and shit you know what i mean like that this ain't they don't play around that's some real shit and you got a guy holding a yeezy like that selling it for 1.8 yeah yeah no i don't know what it says about me but i know them from auctioning off like a couple million dollar like i think a a couple hundred thousand dollar charizard psa 10 pokemon card you know Mm. Like well, a highly graded Pokemon card. But you know what? If you yeah. think about all right, so we got the the Yeezy worn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, the official minted Charizard, like they only deal with the real high end shit. Like they're That's the guys true. that you hold the real shit with. But it's also interesting that like these are the things that are being auctioned off in today's culture. Well, yeah. Well, yes and no. And I've been sort of I've had this conversation with a lot of people in like various uh different like you know, different uh areas of life. Um, but like Art is only uh, what we let it be. Like, mm-hmm. art isn't art with us interpreting it. And we, like, I think on the sneaker tip, like, we consider a lot of this stuff art without saying it. You know, and it's kind of corny to say out loud, but, like, yeah. and, you know, I clowned Virgil for sort of saying ooh, it, ooh, it is ooh, art. Oh, oh, samurai, samurai outfit, samurai outfit. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I mean, like, this... It this is art, and so is the Charizard shit. Mm-hmm. Like this is shit we grew up with, and like when when we want our shit pristine at the highest level, that's what art is. And there's a Chicago, a gamers only Chicago one. What is that? Yeah, I don't know what this is. Thirteen fine examples of game worn sneakers. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, but see, but I mean, like this is what I'm talking about. Sotheby's is like the they're like mm-hmm. king shit when it comes to this art shit. Mm-hmm. What we could get Kareem sneakers. This, this is the real like art part of it though like this is shit like we can't wear this is above this our is a, but these are like moments which is yeah why... this is you know this is like shit you have talking pieces in your house the same way you would hang up like a you know art but whatever like i got an espo hanging up you know what i mean like mm. like well, these I, are espos to people well i told you guys and i said it a few times possibly on this podcast maybe just in talking but when i work at the nba store we used to sell a thing called a lithograph and mm-hmm. and it was the, of the 50 greatest players. And I think the only one that didn't sign it, if I'm correct, was Pistol Pete Maravich because he passed away before the 97 NBA season. And I think there was like 50 pieces made and it started out, you know, 10K, 20K. And then, you know, as less and less were there, it was like $50,000. And it was such a talking piece because it yeah. was art. It was, mm-hmm. oh, my God, that's Michael Jordan's signature. Oh, my God, that's Shaquille O'Neal. And that's Bill Russell. And I think, like you said, that's what drive. It's a talking piece to, mm-hmm. to someone. It's like, oh, it's just a bunch of motherfuckers that played in the NBA that's, that signed it. But it's like the quote unquote greatest players. Their signatures are all on one, you know, piece yeah. of art. Ain't no telling what a collector will pay for it. So, yeah, I get it. Yeah. It is sort of interesting to think about when sneakers, because it will happen eventually, because it all just comes with time. The mm. more, um, the more inv- people that invest more time into a certain topic, uh, the shit becomes like art, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why the federal government cares about art so much, but they do. Because it's a money laundering scam. Yes. Well, uh, fine art has really always just been money laundering, right? But like. You know, even back to I don't know if you guys know this, but like uh, the biggest art heist happened in Boston uh, by a gallery at the Isabel Gardner Museum. They just had a documentary come out about this shit um, where were, they, the, were the people from Boston, the, the thieves. Yeah. It, the, well, the thing was, um, I, I couldn't tell you why they did it. I don't know why. But it'd like be wicked cool, son. It's the it was the biggest art heist that ever happened and i uh, supposedly the all the art was stolen so it could be bargaining chips for the irish and uh mm-hmm. italian mob to get out of jail free when they got caught mm-hmm. so it's like when they get when they get taken in they're like all right how about you have this rembrandt back and then it let me on the street that yeah. it happened like one time i think by like some crazy art heist guy and then like the, the after that like everybody was stealing art just so they could deal with the federal government wicked but yeah, imagine stealing a Yeezy <laughs> and then going, hey, yeah, I know I just like, you know, been beefing with the Italian mob for 10 years and like I got a bunch of cases, but I have this Yeezy. Do you <laughs> do you want this Yeezy and you'll ignore me for it? Sounds good. good yeah, deal. man. Six, right now, the, a lithograph, $60,000 has all the signatures. Michael Jordan, you, you know, it just goes up and up. And it's like as these dudes, you know, continue to pass away, I think, you know, the price on it is going to be. Of course. It's going to be astronomical, you know? Yeah untaxed right 
mm-hmm. and only worth what someone's willing to pay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's where the money laundering is, bro. Just fucking crazy. Buy a piece of art, let it hang up, re- mm-hmm. get the get the value, and then sell it. Mm-hmm. First resellers right there. I, I would think, buy this uh, shit, too, man. Yeah. You got 60K? No, I'm just saying I would. I'm not saying I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to buy it tomorrow, but I'm just saying I would. Like, you Well, know, because- you could buy it tomorrow if enough people subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you know, we don't really plug the Patreon enough. Yeah, get on the Patreon, boys. Come on. Get on the Patreon. Once we get a studio, we can display our lovely piece uh, mm-hmm. lithograph in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we can only do that if you fucking subscribe to our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. The original art, now sneaker art, 1.8 million. That's wild, man. That is a... Yeah. I mean, every time shit like this happens, it changes the whole shit. Like, the the, the 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 space that we're in just grows. And not always in a good way, because 1.8 million is, like, more money than all three of us will have collectively. You know what I mean? Like, and that's yeah. just one... That's one thing now. Okay, first mm-hmm. of all, don't sell yourself short. Yeah, right? don't sell yourself short, bro. I'm, I know I'm gonna. One point eight million. <laughs> Come on. Hit. Drop I know. I believe in myself. I do. Yeah. I'm good at what I do. I'm, don't I'll... associate. Uh, don't lump us in with your fucking white guilt <laughs> ass. All right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? All right. Yeah, I don't I know. You, like... you always do this, man. You always. I'm sell sorry. Yourself no, short, you're right. I am the white devil. I should leave you guys out of it. Fucking. Just you. Just you not making one point eight million. Yeah, I'm good. I know I'm good. So me and Lawrence are gonna be able to buy. 20 pairs we're gonna be laughing and throwing them at each other you know mm-hmm. <laughs> while you're at home i wish i had my 1.8 billion <laughs> stop selling yourself short man yeah uh, you got to man i i do want a pair of yeezys though I, that 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 whole thing was the reason why i've been looking at yeezys i want a pair of ones man i should have fucking mm. Mm. <laughs> if you stop selling your shirt yourself short you'll be able to afford them <laughs> i know mm-hmm. i know does anyone need a logo <laughs> dm me to, for a logo yeah man when they where can they find your work at not that genie uh oh and not that genie.com c-h-e-n-e-y love yeah. love it love it love it love it love it what about love you luke what if they wanted to hit you up for something uh you can find me at trevisus on instagram and twitter uh i just recently did a charity stream uh for stop aapi hate we did a we raised like four hundred dollars during the stream. We're still raising yeah. a little bit more. Um, you can watch that video. I'll put it in the Discord uh, this week just so that we know what it looks like. And there's some fun stuff in there, dude. Uh, on Treat Tran, a uh, previous guest of the show, came into the room. We were playing Among Us. He changed his gamer tag to Treesus to mock my Trevisus. <laughs> and then he was walking around pretending to be me. It was very funny. Hilarious, man. Lawrence, where can they find you? LZD three two five. Uh, follow. I hate this job pod. And yeah, and you yeah. just had one of your coworkers on. That was really funny. I and my my first supervisor, one of my first supervisors at uh, at a job that I hate, and uh, she taught me the game, <laughs> and I appreciate her for it. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a good episode. Thank also, you. don't don't forget about three meanie over there. Yeah, oh, no. that's our guy. That's our um, guy. Produced our shit for us. Thank you. And uh, Discord. Uh, you can email us. There's a phone number attached to the Instagram that you can call. Leave us a voicemail. Um, any final thoughts before we get out of here, boys? Uh, take care of yourself. Stay Have safe. A good yo. week. All right. That is Sup FM this week, guys. Peace out. Uh. <laughs>